have you ever driven past the Cabela's and wondered what's inside this place? Come with us as we discover what could possibly be the camping gear mother load. Cabela's is like the very embodiment of outdoor activities. They cover a lot of things, not just camping gear. They've got an aquarium that you can walk around and check out. They've got an archery range so you can fine tune your bow. They got a shooting gallery where you shoot the little targets. It's great. Obviously they got a lot of various different wildlife. Fish are alive, but some of the wildlife is now dead. <laughs> but the kiddos love to look at it. I think everybody of all ages kind of likes to look at this. It's like a museum. It's a lot of fun. Me personally, I'm a huge fan of waterfalls, so I love the fact that they built a big old waterfall inside. It's pretty awesome. And uh, that's the closest I'd like to ever get to a bear. And probably the closest I'd ever want to get to a wolf, too. Kiddos just thought this was a blast. What does the fox say? <laughs> it's kind of neat too to see some of the breakdowns on the various different species of animals. Some things just, I didn't realize that, uh, you know, I just pointed at some and said, yeah, that's a mountain goat and I could be completely wrong. And then they have an African safari. To me, this was even more unexpected. How cool is that to be able to see some lions, some boars? I, we really enjoyed this. Gave us some opportunities as well to talk about things like poaching. What's going on with rhinoceros, rhinoceros horn, elephant tusks. All right, here's your beginner's camping gear. <laughs> All right, let's check out this camping gear. Literally, it's just a corner in the upstairs of this Cabela's in Buta, Texas. And it's a lot. It's more than we've seen in any of our other tours that we've done on video. A lot of specialized gear. Some heavy duty cooking stuff when you need to cook for a larger group of people. A lot of that kind of stuff you're not gonna find in your everyday retailers. In fact, some of this stuff is things that you would order online. Well, it's kind of neat because you can come here and, and see it in person. And this is probably the biggest wall of Yetis I've ever seen. Well, Yeti cups. I do have some issues with some cost though. Somehow just $130 for that half gallon container seems a bit too much for me. But maybe some of y'all would love that. They got some brands that I had never heard of before. And a lot of this stuff is high end as well. They've got some of the other brands that aren't as expensive, but then they got some stuff that really high end stuff. So yeah, obviously high end stuff's going to cost more as well. You get what you pay for though. Remember that when you're purchasing stuff. I like to read reviews on gear, see what people have to say, because sometimes you'll come across something. Hey, look at that. Those pillows are exactly the same as the climate pillows that I have with the name Ascend on them. I have questions. What's going on here? That's interesting. I wouldn't say the prices are all that different, about on par with what I had paid. But still, they look like the quality stuff. Apparently, one of these companies is making a product and selling it under a different name. Who knows? I'll have to research who's who's the real product, Ascend or Climate. This place had a lot of sleeping bags. These are just the ones in the boxes. They've got the fancy ones hanging up.
I mean, how long can I talk about sleeping bags? <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-seven degrees. Isn't that oddly specific? Not a thirty degree or a forty degree, but thirty-seven. This is our bunk bed. We have this exact model. Disco bed large. The thing is great, sturdy, very useful, but it's a little tough on the back to constantly be setting it up and taking it down. They got a couple different ones. There's the 2XL. What happens when you get that is it's wider. The length is plenty long. Like I'm six foot three and I have plenty of space on any of them. But what happens is it gets more narrow. Now the kiddo bunk, that one is shorter. And we've even got some Thermarest products here. Thermarest makes a good product. I like that folding cot chair. I really think that, that would be a great ad because Tanya and I would be sitting on the cot doing whatever, putting shoes on, just hanging out in the tent, and you got nothing to lean back on. So that little cot chair is great. It just hooks right over the edge of a normal cot, and then you actually have something you can lean back on to sit in the, the tent. This place had plenty of mattress pads. If you were really having a hard time deciding which one to get, don't come here. <laughs> the options are even greater. The selection of cots was really great too. As well as backpacks. In fact, we'll touch back on that again in a moment. I like that breathable material though. That looks really cool. If only I slept directly on the cot. There's a big one back there. That one looks like a Mars lander. All right, here we go. I love this. This is the wall of sleeping bags. It's nice to be able to actually touch and feel the sleeping bag. And I, to know what the texture feels like, to kind of squish it all up and see how it compresses. I'm telling you, I, I would not have bought that zero degree bag that I bought if I had known how hard it would be to roll that thing up. That is a pain. My fingers actually hurt after trying to roll the zero degree sleeping bag. For up to Tanya, she'd just buy a purple sleeping bag every time and then freeze to death because it wouldn't be appropriate for her climate. I love you, Tanya. I'm not making fun of you. Purple is good. Hammocks are great, as long as you got the right trees. The backpack selection here is very impressive. Whatever the mission or role or whatever you're going on, you know, there are people out there that collect shoes, have all kinds of shoes. I need a closet just for shoes. And then there are people like me. I need a closet just for different backpacks. that they even got the metal frame ones Those things will stand up on their own awesome different walking sticks some more bags stuff to help organize inside your backpack stuff that can help you make sure it stays dry If you're looking to get into some serious backpacking, backpacking camping, this is a great place to start if you can get in here. Unless you don't want to spend any money. If you don't want to spend any money, ooh, tough place to walk into.
I need some fancy bags. I like the idea of the fold up little duffel bag. Now check this out. This is where you can get the back of an SUV tent. It will hook onto the back of your utility vehicle. Or as you can see right above it, you've got one that fits in the bed of your truck. This is the kind of stuff you aren't going to see at a normal store. This is the kind of stuff where I'm like, man, where do you get that? Then there are these big tents where you take along a big old stove to put inside to heat it with a chimney. But the cost is great. This is some serious camping. Look at all those costs they fit inside that tent. Stoves. And there we have it, the small one for only $14.99. Some more of the Kelty brand. I really need to look more into the Kelty brand. I'm not that familiar with it. They look like they've got some good stuff. Coleman One Source. Look at that, how you've got that LED light that lines in there. And it apparently uses like some kind of a new rechargeable battery that they're using. I believe I've seen this used elsewhere. You can interchange it between other Coleman lanterns and things like that. So that way you've got the same battery pack that you can be charging multiples of. Now we've got some stuff that looks like we're ready to go hiking up Mount Everest. Who's ready for Mount Everest? I'm ready. It's 106 degrees outside right now. I'll take Mount Everest over that. Let's go! Some of these tents I have seen set up at a campsite and I've just, I look at them I'm like, wow, that's really cool. Where are they getting this stuff? And if you need to tow anything, they've got some towing accessories here as well. Plenty of carabiner clips. I love these things. Why am I obsessed with carabiners? What do I love more, carabiners or backpacks? It's tough to divide that up. You got some of your fold-up towels, and they even have a pocket shower. I, do I? There. My finger points at it. See? There's my finger. That's pretty cool. So you got a shower that can fold up like that, put it in your backpack, and then when you're out in the woods on a long hike, you've actually got a way to clean up. Anybody know what that is? Garbage bag holder. Yeah, I'm going to totally ignore what I just, you know, asked. Y'all leave it in the comments if you know what it is. Hey, who wants to repel some bugs? Who wants to hit some mosquitoes like a tennis ball? Flap! A lot of great ways to start some fires, some med kits, first aid kits, great stuff. Emergency blankets, a Yeti that will fill a small child. Just kidding, do not put your small child in a Yeti. In fact, they have a sticker right there, do you see it? No children in the Yeti. We want our children to be safe. And suffocate in there. I guess I'd call this the wall of coolers from Coleman's to Yeti's. And portable. Totally want to check that out. Look at this. Nice vintage Coleman cooler. Very nice. Oh, 
Looks like Cabela's even has some of their own. Wonder who makes those. Bottle opener built into the strap. This I thought was cool. It's a heater and a cooktop. Just rotate it up, cook your coffee. I'm sorry, brew your coffee. Excuse me, coffee lovers. For some reason, when I think of camping gear, I always think of this brand right here. These green with the yellow, a little red logo on the side. To me, this is camping gear. That's what I grew up seeing in the stores. And we still have quite a bit of this stuff since we've been buying it for years. And I think it's awesome. They're still selling it, still using their, their old branding. It's perfect. It's very good beginner camping gear stuff right here. And who doesn't need a whistle with a compass built into it? And those fire sticks right there that just went off camera, I had some of those that were 19 years old. Bag had been open, hadn't even been sealed properly, and they still worked great. These little things that, they're like a flexi type thing. It's orange and yellow things. And so you can like tie them around something and they'll just kind of hold their shape, holding something closed. Nice little hiking stool. I forgot to check the weight limit on that, I think. Since that one that we got, the Ozark Trail one, can only hold 250, I need something for hiking that I can pack that can hold 300. No, I'm not 300, but I'm close enough to know that I need to buy something to hold that higher weight limit. Ah, oh, purple chair. I must have been thinking of my wife, Tanya. Purple, 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 purple. Flashlights, lanterns, a lot of great choices here. I really like that. That was neat. Kind of a like, rubber design, diffuses the light real nice. It just swipes across to turn it on. How cool is that? Nice and bright. Looks like some space age technology there thousand lumens that is nice and bright would have liked to have seen that come on this here the quad pro that i'm going to pass over <laughs> those are really cool you can actually take the individual pieces off so they all fit together to make one big lantern and if somebody needs to go to the bathroom they can reach in there pop one of the sides off and then take that as they walk to the bathroom there's my trusty coleman lantern i love those things if i could light everything with those kind of lanterns i totally would I'm sorry if you think that's old school, but I love the glow of those old school lanterns. Here we got some good propane hoses. That stand right there, you can actually put a lantern up on top of it. So it just mount it to a 20 pound propane tank. Got Mr. Buddy, Big Buddy. That's a double heater, love it. Jet Boil, that is a name, a product I've been seeing in a lot of other YouTube videos. I didn't know where to buy them. I mean, sure, I could search for them online, but sweet, they've got them here at Cabela's. That's awesome. That thing right there, make a little fire inside of it, it kind of contains your fire, and it charges your phone. It's a bit costly. Maybe at some point in the future, I can get one of these, test it out. I just, that seems awesome. An oven, I mean, that's almost like what's in an RV, right? It's just a little bit more portable, not mounted to the RV. I like that case that comes in. That's nice. Got some good options. Now our propane stove is real simple. It works. I haven't felt the need to upgrade. A lot of times these stoves are built so well that as long as you keep them clean and take care of them, even if you don't, I've seen videos where people will get old 
Coleman stoves, decades old, all rusty, and they will grind all the rust out and get them working again. Well-made product. Yeah, I'm gonna be refilling these. I'm gonna do a video on that in the future. They got a whole section for cast iron, all kinds of different cast iron you can get. I have yet to master the art of taking care of cast iron. I am a terrible steward of cast iron. I'm sorry. If you don't like that, you don't have to stick around. I am going to figure out how to properly take care of cast iron. It is on my list of things that I need to do to be a grown up. <laughs> Several different collections of pots and pans that you can take with you, different size coffee pots. I like the ones where you can fold everything together and get it down to a small grouping. Don't know, think of the word right now. Really like that quick pot from Coleman. Would love to play around with that. A lot of this stuff though is great for Dave's laws of space. Fold it down, transform it into something smaller so that you can pack more stuff. Pack more stuff. Pack more stuff? the sequel to Pac-Man 2. Pack more stuff. Chomp, 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 chomp. Got some water filtration stuff. And if you get yourself a good bottle with some filters, and then you find some streams out there, you can start filling up and drinking fresh water up there in the mountains. I think that's great. I'd like to just drink it plain, but there are some things you might want to filter out. And they had a really nice collection of ready to eat meals. I mean, they had entire cases, like this is good for this many meals. I can't see it right now as I'm watching this, uh, but it had quite a bit in there. And then the solar section, they had a really nice solar section. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. As you can see, there's a lot of fun things to do. My kiddos had a blast here. I'm pretty sure your kiddos will have fun too lot to check out in this place so when you get a chance stop by cabela's walk around take a look at everything they've even got a massive pew pew section I'm not covering that because i don't want to cover pew pews on this channel you can go check out somebody else's channel all right everybody i'm going to leave you with this guy right here camping in a cabela's happy camping y'all